Great to get a chance to visit with y'all again, and a chance to share some good coffee, of course, and some good word. We always know that that's coming up as well. You know, the, the good coffee this morning is um, Connex, Billy Hours is from down there in Galveston. Mm. A perpetual favorite. I've been out for a little while. I got about 10 pounds um, came in this week. Matter of fact, we haven't had a giveaway in a while. I'm going to give away some this week. Either um, some beans or K-cups, whatever you want. I'm going to look to see who's been sharing these messages and who's consistent this week. And we'll give some away at the, the end of the week. It's always good stuff. Go out there. I'll put a link to the to his online store. And you can find that. And I'm not sponsored. Remember that. I, I buy whatever I, whatever I drink. Mm. I just like to support my friends. Now we got the good coffee. How about the good word? I was brought in my readings this morning to Philippians chapter 4. I love when it was Philippians 4 because I know Philippians 4 4, I'm a real bracer. It reminds me of rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice because a lot of things hit us in this world. But get a chance. I want you to read that whole chapter uh, today. Philippians 4. There's some gems in there. Like I said, 4 4, rejoice in the Lord always. 4 6, uh, do not be anxious about anything. Uh, verse 7, and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. And then 4.11 says, for I've learned in whatever situation I am in to be content. Wow, that's good stuff right there. And I've kind of looked at it a little bit to be able to rejoice, relax, rest, restore. There's so many uh, alliterations that you could find in there in that one chapter. Uh, this world's going to beat you up over and over and over again. And Jesus told us in the world you're going to have you're going to have troubles. He said, but look, <laughs> take heart. I've overcome this world. A lot of things going to be beating you up, but if we'll stop and take the time to ground ourselves into the Word of God and to be reminded continually of not our faith but His faithfulness, then we're going to continue to see the opportunities to be able to do just that, just to just to relax in what He is offered to us to to be able to rejoice in where he has us right now you know i love the old saying says bloom where you're planted and wherever you find yourself right now if you've given yourself over to the will of god done everything you can to be in the will of god then you know what let it be in god's hands let go and let god is not just a bumper sticker <laughs> it's a great way to be able to live our lives and not only that but to be like paul and to be able to rejoice in your afflictions wow I strive for that. I've got some friends right now that are in the hospital. I'm going to get a chance to go visit with them today. And it's hard for, for them to rejoice. It's hard for me to be at their bedside and rejoice with them. But you know what? We have to be reminded. No matter what happens on this this earth, look, well, we're just a passing through like the old song says. So we can do that. We can rejoice and we can relax. And all the things that are going around us, don't be anxious. Don't be anxious, he says. He says oh, don't worry about it. I've got this. God is in control. No matter what you're going through, remember that God is in control. And I've had to do that. I've had to do that with my children and now, you know, grandchildren to come. I've, I've given it to God. I say, Lord God, I can't. how can I say that you're my Lord if I don't yield completely to everything that you've given for me, to your sovereignty? And that's all we have to do. We have to place everything into God's hands. I get so many prayer requests over and over and over again from people that are going through so many things, and their family are going through things. And I stop, and I pray for them, and I pray with them. And I hope that what they're receiving, and I always ask for, is that God give them peace. Give them peace in the midst of the circumstances, the things that are going on around us. Lord God, let us be able to live on your word. Let us be anxious for nothing. Let me pray for you this morning. Pray, Father God, I'm praying right now for my friends, everyone in the sound of my voice. Lord God, give them peace. Let them be anxious for nothing. Let them trade, Lord God, their anxiety instead for rejoicing. Our mourning for dancing, as you said, Lord God. I pray that knowing that this is a hard thing to do. It's a hard thing for me as well. But Lord God, we place it all into your hands. I pray even now that you will lift them up, sustain them, and bless them with peace. In Jesus' name we ask these things. Amen. Look, y'all know God loves you. You got to know by now that I love you. Get out there and make sure someone knows that you love them as well. And I look very forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a great day.